My name is Hansel Rocker from the Urology Department at the Miguel Cervit University Hospital in Zaragoza, Spain. British Journal of Urology International has given us the opportunity to introduce our paper. In this study, we have investigated the possibility of a genetic predisposition to early systemic dissemination in clinically localized prostate cancer. Here, we present the results of our multicenter study from six Spanish hospitals together with progenic incorporation. As we know, radical prostatectomy is the most common treatment for clinical, clinically localized prostate cancer. However, 35% of these patients will suffer from rising PSA levels after surgical treatment. In addition, more than 10% of these recurrences will happen within the first year. This bioclinical recurrence is a consequence of either non-radical local surgery with positive surgical, surgical margins or of a systemic tumor dissemination before surgery. But some questions arise. Is systemic dissemination before surgery possible in clinically localized prostate cancer? Can we expect a genetic predisposition to early systemic dissemination in prostate cancer? Could we predict this predisposition before surgery? If so, we could disallow radical prostatectomy alone instead of multimodal approaches or early adjuvant therapies. In this study, we analyzed the association of 83 single nucleotide, nucleotide polymorphisms and other conventional clinic pathological features to predict the risk of early bioclinical recurrence within the first year after radical prostatectomy. We assume early bioclinical recurrence as a surrogate for systemic failure, the first step to metastasis and prostate cancer specific mortality if untreated. Near 700 Caucasian men were evaluated with a 13.3% rate of early bioclinical recurrence within the first year after radical prostatectomy. On all the par of all the parameters tested, glycine score from biopsy, clinical stage, preoperative PSA, and four single nucleotide polymorphisms showed independent association with early bioclinical recurrence. The predictive models generated with these variables showed good the discrimination, good calibration, and a superior clinical benefit with the model which used genetic score. The improvement achieved by this clinic pathological and genetic model is modest but consistently significant. The phenotypic impact of genetic characteristics on clinic pathological features could have minimized their contribution to predictive accuracy, we think. These findings should lead us to consider and investigate the genetic predisposition to early biochemical recurrence, specifically with single nucleotide polymorphisms correlated with prostate cancer circulating cells migration or nodal or bone trophism. We hope this study can be of interest to you. Thank you for your reading.